The report, posted on the ministry's newly launched website Goha.ir, claimed that the Democrats had pinned their hopes on a diplomatic solution to the Iranian nuclear threat, and that there was open confrontation between President Barack Obama and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on the issue. It was apparently prepared before Mr. Obama's re-election victory on Tuesday over Mitt Romney. The Republican Party has a more severe confrontational approach towards Iran and its proposed policies are close to those of the Zionist Israel regime, it said according to an AFP report. Mr. Obama's Democratic Party's position is completely different on Iran, it added. The analysis contradicts the rhetoric of Iranian leaders and media who daily denounced Mr. Obama during his first term accusing him of aligning his policies to those of Israel in a bid to weaken the Islamic Republic. Although Democrats have not hesitated in implementing hostile policies against the Iranian nation and repeatedly say that all options are on the table, they have pinned their hope on diplomacy, the report said. Mr. Obama has rallied U.S. allies against Iran, toughening sanctions, with Iran's oil exports and access to world financial systems being key targets. The United States and other world powers including the Iran's arch-enemy Israel, they accuse Iran of using its nuclear program to mask the drive for atomic weapons. Tehran denies that, saying it is for purely peaceful purposes. Although Mr. Netanyahu has exerted immense pressure on Mr. Obama to adopt a firmer stance on Iran, the report said, the policies of the Obama administration are different from those of the Zionist regime. The analysis also argues that the Obama administration has a more moderate approach on sanctions against Tehran than European countries. Although Americans have themselves imposed expansive sanctions against Iran, they are still trailing the Europeans in this regard, it said. Iran has also signaled it may be open to hold dialogue with the great Satan, its epithet for the United States, following the re-election of Mr. Obama.